Welcome to the introductory video of what you actually get in the box when you get a Remora heat pump. So we have two types of heat pump. We have uh, the Remora inverter that we're seeing in here, and we also have the standard Remora where this badge is different, and also it has a different controller, and that's to do with the variable speed. But everything else on the look is pretty much the same. So what we have is we have a fan uh, with an opening here, and that's to allow the refrigerated air to expel from the unit. Um, we have the LCD display, which is inside a uh, cover to keep it dry, and we have the controllers. And we'll show you the two different controllers in a different video. We also have a instruction manual and a winter cover that's included. Um, we also supply four rubber feet and these are so that we can put them underneath the feet. So this would be on top of here, allows us to secure it down, and that's to prevent the vibrations. And then moving around onto the side, if it's one of the smaller heat pumps, we have a pre-wired 2.8 meter cable with an RCD on the flex, and a small gap here with a 13 amp UK plug. And this is important because this allows you to put it into an outdoor socket that clamps down and then you've still got able to create a waterproof seal around there while still accessing the RCD. We also have the Wi-Fi module that's pre-wired onto two 10 meter extension cables which are connected here on the Wi-Fi module. And we'll be showing you in another video later how you can relocate that inside or how you would use it outside. We also have at the bottom here a drainage plug. This is for winterizing and allowing all of the water to drain out of the heat exchanger. On the rear, we have the pressure gauge here that we can see the refrigerant pressure. At the moment, it's not turned on, so it's the ambient air that's pressurizing it. Below that, we have the water out and water in inlets. This is currently already put in ourselves. And what you get in the pack is two of these. And you have a uh, union ring, the socket that goes through the union ring, and then the male threaded piece threads into here. And this gives you a breakable joint here and allows you to thread into here so that's connected, just like we're seeing here. And inside here, we have a double step and that's because the outside is metric and the inside is imperial so we have 50 mil and 48.3 mil which is inch and a half pressure pipe now we have the evaporator on the back and this is where we're taking energy out of the air so the air is flowing through out of the unit and we're absorbing it through the evaporator and this will cause condensate that runs down into the bottom and that's why you also have included a condensate hose and the plug and this jet plug would be located underneath the heat pump and if you put your hand under here along the back of the evaporator you'll find a hole in this one it's just here and this would be underneath and it pushes in and these clip into the bottom and then this allows the hose to be connected directly onto here and that allows you to take your condensate away from the unit. 